it's lisa welcome back to the channel today we are going to do a whole house clean with me because i want to help you get your house together for the weekend so come along with me let's get this whole house together and i have we've been on a break so we have been chilling and so voila <laughs> this is what we have but it'll be some good content for you guys so come along with me let's get this party started <music> Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. I just wanna get everything all prepared and ready for the weekend. So if you need some cleaning motivation to get your house clean for the weekend, this will be the perfect video for you. Right now I'm just showing you these uh, totes, canvas totes that I got from, or canvas baskets that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. All three of them came in a set for $3 and I am using them for my essential oils and then the other two for some of the kids things. So I'm going ahead and adding in my essential oils to my oil diffuser here. I'm going to start using that a little bit more. Um, I'll still have candles here and there, but I definitely want to reduce the amount of candles throughout our home. see me work with the Tide fabric disinfectant spray or I have Clorox as well I have to be honest with you guys so I started using that I think it came out last year around last year this time when everything you know kind of hit the fan with the pandemic but I am over the smell it reminds me of Febreze and I just cannot handle it anymore so um, I'm using through the stockpile that I have and then I don't think I'm going to be purchasing it any longer and I'll probably have to find an alternative solution so I'll be making my own mixture to disinfect my um, cloth fabric surfaces but I just thought I'd add that in there so in this container here is baking soda and some essential oil it smells amazing um, but it cannot be in this plastic container so i'm gonna have to find a glass one because it actually broke the container like the the size of it started to you know break i guess i didn't think that through enough so i'm gonna be looking for another container to store it in because it smells really good So one question that I got from you guys was if I could do a dedicated video about the e-cloths and if that's something that you're interested in, if more of you are interested in, let me know in the comment section down below that that's something that you would be interested in seeing. Go ahead and leave me um, a star emoji if that's something that you want to see. I'm not in partnership with them. I just enjoy their products. So what you just saw me using the yellow cloth was their duster. and it traps dust really well. I have so many different things from theirs, but we have allergies and asthma in our households and it's important for me to dust. I know sometimes it seems like just an extra step, but if you have allergies and asthma in your house, then you know the importance of dusting. We, have, we dust a lot. I have so many diffusers. I have um, air purifiers all over our house. So I will definitely do that video for you guys if you're interested. I'm getting some candle wax off of this coffee table the night before I filmed this video uh, just randomly as soon as it got dark outside we had an explosion somewhere in our area and um, our entire street lost power for a few hours and so 
my kids were terrified. That was the first time of them like not having power. And it happened when it was like pitch black dark outside. And so um, I was, my husband left to go get a generator. And while he was gone with Cameron, I was trying to keep the little ones occupied and trying to keep them calm because they were crying and screaming and you know, cause you heard the pop first and then um, everything went black. Everything went black and everyone was in different places. Um, the, my husband was downstairs with the kids but they were at the table eating their food. They were watching TV while they were eating. And I was upstairs folding laundry. Cameron was on his laptop in his room or on his phone in his room, something, but everyone was everywhere and then everybody got scared and started screaming all at once. It was just super chaotic. It was a lot going on, but um, blessed that it didn't last long and absolutely blessed that we were in a position to be able to go out and purchase a generator. We end up not needing it, but we have one moving forward. And like I said, you just never know when things happen. If it was just my husband and I and Cameron, we would have been fine, but having the younger two, the four and the five-year-old, they were really scared, you guys. Jace had an asthma attack. It was just a lot going on. And so I was trying to get candles. And um, while I was trying to light the candles, they were trying to hold on to me. And I spilled the wax on my table and on the floor. So I knew that I needed to go in and get that cleaned up. I tried not to turn this room back into a full-blown homeschool room it just didn't happen um, it's necessary the kids are older we need a space for them um, we were using the other room um, like the den area for them but just being that I switched up things for cam I kind of needed to be in one spot and I needed them all to be there so I'm happy that we picked up this big table back in the fall time and um, I added some more chairs. The chairs initially came from um, like a secondhand store. They were brand new, but they came from a secondhand store. I got them for a really good deal. It was only two of them though. So I kept looking and looking on Wayfair and I found the other two and they were so expensive that I did not want to purchase them. So it took me a year to like, tell myself like it's time like you need to go ahead and get these chairs because our other two were cloth and they were just they, the kids just destroyed them and I was always embarrassed anytime anyone pulled those chairs out because no matter how many times I cleaned them they were always horrible so I am saying all of this to say whenever you're rearranging your house whenever you're thinking about making changes in your home even if you look at someone else's home even if it's mine and you're like, oh, I wish I could do this or I wish I can do that. Recognize the season of life that you are in. The season of life you are in is going to be different nine times out of 10 than someone else's. So if you're not in a position to do what other people are doing and that's something that you truly desire, make it a plan to do it in the future. I can't have fabric chairs in my dining room or at my kitchen table. It's not for everyone. Everyone doesn't like the wood. Maybe it seems a little bit harder to sit on than the fabric, but it's not about the people that are coming over my house. It's about the people that are in my house today. And the people that are in my house today make little messes and I need to be able to wipe them off quickly. So until that changes, we will have these wood uh, table and chair sets and in the, the breakfast area, we have like the, my husband says it's like the cafeteria style because we have some chairs from Ikea. Everything is wipeable. I don't get upset about anything because it's all wipeable. If they make a mess on these chairs, it's not a big deal. So recognize the season that you're in. With this homeschool, with this being our homeschool area, one day I'll be able to have my beautiful dining room like I want. 
but it's not today. So I had to compromise and this room is multi-purpose. Like if you walk into the house, you really don't see all of the homeschool things until you like sit down on one side of the house and then you can see it all. But one side is really pretty and for me and the other side is for my kids. So it's all about compromising to meet Even the needs if of you, you try, and your family. You wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different where I got this table from. It came from Target Online. I'll try to remember to leave it in the description box below so you guys can see it. But this is usually where the kids eat um, breakfast and dinner now. We eat dinner as a family at the homeschool table. and let you guys know that there are times when I'm cleaning up and I look at a mess and I'm like nope not happening so this was one of the times where I was like no I just I'm not in the mood I don't feel like it so I called the kids down to clean up their mess and I mean they're little they don't really clean clean anything but as long as I see that they're helping out I'm fine um but if I'm in the mood I'll pick it up but this day I wasn't so I was like mm, it ain't happening today y'all Come on in the room and get this up. I have to call myself out on these curtains. They're my favorite curtains in the entire world. I got them from Home Goods. Um, I have another set just like this in the homeschool room, but the way these curtains hang on the floor is just, it is wrong, okay? It is so wrong. I am saying today on camera that I am going to fix this today. Either I'm going to um, raise the bar, which is exactly what I need to do. I'm going to raise the bar or I'm going to use my tape because I have curtain tape to tape it up. Or I'm going to force myself to, if I raise the bar and it's still too high, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to sew the bottom of it up so that I'm going to hem the bottom of it so that it, it looks way better because this tying it up, it, it's, it's not working for me. Like that looks terrible to me. So I'm telling you guys 
that I am going to fix this issue today. So all the snow has melted and my kids got a trampoline for Christmas. So we went ahead and put it together and they have been outside at least twice a day in the morning and then in the evening, which has, you know, like that's my little secret now that I try to wear them out and it works. But since they're in and out, they track so much dirt and mud and all of the above in the house. So what you guys are seeing on the floor is just them being kids, tracking in dirt from outside. I went and got them some Croc-like shoes from Target and they're supposed to take those off and leave them at the door, but they're kids, it doesn't always happen and I'm not running through the house chasing them down. Um, I remind them that they need to take their shoes off, but sometimes they're already like by the bathroom. But they know that their shoes do not go on any of my rugs. <laughs> they know that. And shoes don't go upstairs either. So if you guys see me with shoes on, they're my indoor shoes. My indoor shoes, uh, they don't go outside. I mean, I'll go outside and clean off the windows. But they're not, I'm not walking around, you know, places with them. So I just thought I would add that in there. All right. So moving on to the kitchen. Um, I'm wiping surfaces down. You guys will see later on in this video that dishes pile up. I have an agreement with Cam. He does not like to put away dishes and I do not like loading dishes. So he loads them twice a day and I put them away. So he's gonna, you're gonna see him uh, loading the dishes later on in this video. few questions for you guys to think about you can answer them in the description box below but I am curious on how long you've been watching cleaning videos on YouTube not just my channel but just videos in general how long have you been watching cleaning videos and do you feel like you've learned anything from those videos and if so if you feel like sharing what have you learned and then why is a clean house important to you and what does a clean house look like to you? Those are things that I want you guys to think about because I feel like even myself, I spend a lot of time just watching videos and not enough time implementing what I learned from those videos and just you know taking in what I learned, figuring out what I can do better in our, my house and making the changes, right? A lot of times we're just consuming so much information that we forget to eat the fish and spit out the bones, like leave what we don't need on the table and then take what we can use and actually set a plan to use it. Um, and then why is a clean house important? I feel like if you can understand the why behind why you're cleaning your house and who you're cleaning your house for, I feel like you will want to do it more. Maybe that's just me and my, <laughs> my own logic, but if you're cleaning your house for outsiders, you're gonna have a hard time, I feel like, because you're cleaning it for people that don't even live in the house. But once you start cleaning your house for yourself and you start doing it for yourself and for the people that you share your home with, it becomes a little bit different. Um, I think about it in the way of my kids. Like, I want my kids to see our house Put together because I want them to be able to do the same thing when they're older I want them to remember like my mom kept up with our house this is how she did it I saw her do this and then 
what does a clean house look like? A clean house in my home is going to look different from what a clean house looks like in your home. A lot of times I find myself or found myself watching videos and I'm like, man, that is like clean, clean. She is really cleaning. And then I clean my house and I'm like, hey, but I just cleaned and it, it doesn't look like it because I have stuff everywhere. Well, I have kids and we have more things than, you know, someone who is a minimalist, you know, or living that lifestyle. That's not the lifestyle I'm living. This is the lifestyle that I'm living. This is the season that I'm in. And so this is what a clean home looks like to me. So I want you guys to really think about that and uh, share your thoughts with me in the description box or in the comment section below if you feel comfortable doing so. Let's start a conversation about it. So my kids picked up what they could and then I sent them off for a nap. So I'm just going ahead and putting everything back in the cabinet that it belongs in. If you guys didn't see my reel on Instagram, you should definitely head on over and check it out so you can see how I organized this room. But there's so many hidden spaces where I store toys and board games and homeschool material and everything like that. While I was opening this cabinet, I broke one of my nails. So it hurts so bad. Actually, it still hurts. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my nails fixed soon. But um, I'm just going ahead and putting everything away. And then we're gonna move on to the next room. So this is what a clean house looks like for me. Now I'm going ahead and vacuuming. It's later on in the day. I changed into some more comfortable pants, but um, I'm going ahead and just vacuuming all the baking soda and the essential oil off the floor throughout the entire space. when I can get my whole house clean before the weekend it feels amazing just waking up Saturday morning and my house is clean um, one thing that I do to try to get ahead of myself is when it's clean like this that's when I go ahead and do my deep cleaning I don't like to clean a house deep clean a house while it's too much of a mess so my encouragement and advice to you would be once you clean your house I know you're gonna be tired. Take the next day and deep clean it because it's already less of a mess, so it's going to be less of a hassle and you'll be able to deep clean it even faster because everything is in its space.
video was helpful for you. I hope that you were able to get some inspiration and take away something that you can apply today in your home. I'm Lisa. This is To Each A Clean Home. Remember, to each their own home, to each their own way. I will see you guys in Monday's video. Take care. Bye, guys.